Hey y'all, this Aquarius mug is here with my tea in it because yesterday was Leroy's birthday, he would have been 76, and tomorrow is Mama's birthday and she would have been 97. Happy birthday, y'all. Love you bunches. Love my hot tea and the Aquarius mug in y'all's honor. So what I'm doing today, before I do anything else maybe that's, you know, creative, I'm going to show you something that I didn't take with me yesterday when I went to the guys. It's my little wooden mannequin. I forgot to take it with me. It might have made a difference in what I'm going to show you in a bit. We'll see. But what I did take with me, two bags, two pencil bags with various and sundry waterproof markers in there that there's some in this one, and there's some in that one. I also took with me, but didn't use, this art masking fluid. But that stuff comes in handy when you want your paper to stay white. This is the journal that I have created some of my Domestica stuff in. I'll show you in a minute. This is another one that I have, whoops, a lot of fuzz on there or something. This is one where I have done some uh, journaling, uh, swatching, a little sketching with the Domestica thing. You remember this? And where I have put my markers, like the ones in that brown bag, Royal Langnickel. That's them right there in the white. Okay. Then I also took with me this little sketchbook where I have swatched some watercolors that I have shown you in the past. Well, I'm doing this oops, backwards with one hand. See there? I have used these some and these some, and there's some other things that I've shown y'all in the past. Okay, that's in there. This goes over here now, and this is a book, a reference book of mine that I take with me when I go over there in case I need any facts that are in it, and this is a 365 days journal, which I'm kind of behind on, but that's something I'm working on, staying more uh, close to up-to-date with my journals. And then the last one is the one that I've been doing my Domestica things in. I'll show you later. I took this palette with me, the Crayon, Crayola Washable Watercolors. I took this palette with me, the one I got when I did the uh, Magical Mystery, I mean, sheesh, Mississippi Tour. This is the one that I got when I went painting with White Waters Outdoors. Holy crud, was that fine. Not crud. Holy joy, that was fine. Okay, so let's get those out of the way for now. They're going to go down here in the... Um, this is what I take the stuff back and forth to the boys in. Actually, they carry it for me. Aren't they sweet? I also took both of these charging cords because I have to charge this phone sometimes and I have to charge my... AirPod sometimes, and that way with this dual cube uh, with the two USBs, I'm set. So, anyway, this is the rest of what I took with me yesterday. This case has in it my two receptacles for water that stand in this when they're full of water on the table, and then the water only stays in there, unless I'm a doofus and at all, but I haven't done that yet. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. This right here shows you how sometimes your eraser gets smudgy, and I'll explain why I'm showing you that in a moment. And then I've got various and sundry pencils and some another set of these watercolor brushes that fill with water. Oh, when I get through with all this, I'll put everything back in its container so I can use it easily here and not have it in these little boxes. Anyway, these can go in here now and out of the way that box. Here's the second box. Look, I have several of these with me. This is the stand for my phone to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. And there's my markers, which I did not use yesterday. This right here has to do with this masking fluid. I saw on YouTube that if you put your brush that you're going to use that in the masking fluid in this uh, first, which is uh, soap you know, liquid soap for washing dishes, and get it all saturated in the brush. Then when you put the, rinse it out real good, and then you put it in here, you're less likely to get a malfunctioning brush due to clumps getting on it. And then you can rinse it out real good, and it stays in good shape. I should have tried to find it in that first container, but I didn't. This is where I'm writing my grocery list for you two. This is with paper from a watercolor that I cut apart. You remember the one with the trailer? and the car, and the snowflakes. 
the, the trailer that we lived in, the pacemaker, this, this is around the trees. And I cut them off because I hated them. There they are. Yeah. So, but they are really good pieces of paper for swatching on and for erasing the smudge off your eraser. Here's another one of those little stands, which I thought I was calling the wrong thing, but lo and behold, it is called a stand for cell phone and tablets. I don't want to not have that because your phone slides around too much if you don't have something to stand it up on so you can see what you're doing. And here's a couple of those I meant to put on my cords, but I forgot. Maybe I'll leave them right there and that'll remind me. Here's my colored pencils, my crayons, my pencil sharpener. I did use a bit of colored pencil yesterday. I better leave this out too because I got to get those groceries ordered. Those are some palettes that are made out of ceramic. There we go. I got them. Okay, finally came to me. Now this I wanted to show you and why I wished kind of that I'd taken him with me or her. It, <clears throat> I like it a lot. I got it at Goodwill for practically nothing. So where's my page? Okay, come on. That, oh, that was the back. There's the journal. And what I want to show you is in here. This is where I've been doing other assignments and showing them to y'all, which I still am amazed at that one. And I'm certainly amazed at this one where I think it actually looks like Idris Elba, well, a man who's supposed to be Idris Elba is walking. Look at that. He looks like he's walking. I think I used that guy for that to help me out in the, in the uh, reference image that I found on YouTube. Anyway, uh, that was the table the other day. Oh gosh, why won't it focus? Oh, just stop that for a minute. This is my final project for the class I'm taking right now is to do a self-portrait. So this is the one I did last Saturday where I'm at this very table, my gate leg table. See, there's the gate leg. Uh, drawing an apple. <laughs> So, anyway, this is the one I did yesterday, and I was kind of worried because I wasn't sure how to make my right arm reach over to the dish um, drainer without having seen it. So, I just said, well, I'll just keep going till I work on it some, and I got that, and that's not bad. I mean, look at this guy. I just was playing with it when I was getting ready to do this, and he's reaching out similarly, but I need to, well, I'm not going to do that now. I need to raise his uh, forearm up some, I guess, depending on where the location of what I'm going to set it on is. Anyway, that was a rotten sentence. But this is what I painted yesterday. This is washing dishes and putting dish dishes in the dish drainer in my little kitchen. All right, y'all, this is long. I think I'm going to have to experiment with putting it on YouTube and putting a link on Instagram and Facebook and seeing if any of y'all will go look at it. I hope you do. All right, bye.